Those UK imams blame Zionists for volatile far-right riots. In a troubling development amidst recent unrest in the United Kingdom, several Muslim imams have sparked controversy by attributing the violent far-right riots to the Zionist agenda during their Friday sermons. This inflammatory rhetoric has raised some concerns about the spread of anti-Semitic conspiracy theories and their potential to exacerbate community tensions. Imam Asraf uh, Dabus of the Louis Schramm Islamic Center of London, for instance, claimed that the rioters were being manipulated and misguided by Zionists to target, tarnish the reputation of British Muslims. He went further, stating, It is quite well known now publicly, due to the information that has been released online, that they are Zionists and they are the supporters of the state of Israel. These assertions, echoed by other religious leaders across the UK, have drawn sharp criticism from groups like the Campaign Against Anti-Semitism, who have argued that such claims are thinly veiled anti-Semitism targeting the majority of British Jews who identify as Zionists. The Charity Commission has acknowledged these concerns and is assessing whether to investigate the charities associated with the mosques for promoting these views, highlighting the delicate balance between religious freedom and the need to combat hate speech and conspiracy theories in an increasingly polarized society. <clears throat> Let me be uh, completely clear about something. I do not think that the Charity Commission of the UK is going to do absolutely anything about this. The... Uh, history of the charity commission towards problematic islamic charities has proven that they are not effective at taking action against these things and so frankly i do not think that the charity commission will take action against these uh charities associated with these mosques now but let's actually watch the video from one of these guys um and uh then we can unpack a little bit further. Okay, let me know if the idea is working here. Number one. Yes. They Good. Okay, so let's watch this all the way through. And then we see. Okay, it's a short video, so let's watch it all the way through. Number one. They are being misled and they are being manipulated and they are being misguided by individuals who do not have their best interests at heart. It is quite well known now, publicly, due to information that has been released online, that their manipulators are Zionists. And they are supporters of the state of Israel. And with the ground that has been lost over the past few months, something had to take place that would try to win some ground back on the ground for the Zionist agenda. And what a better way than to paint the Muslims as being savages and killers and barbaric and so on and so forth, which in reality is a projection of the Zionist state itself. You have individuals that are sitting around, enjoying the sun, paying hundreds of pounds per night for hotels, whilst they are urging and inciting people to cause chaos and damage to their own homes and their own streets. And so the message is for those individuals that are engaging in some, such action to wake up and understand the reality. To wake up. So he's clearly talking about Tommy Robinson here without saying Tommy Robinson. Right. So... You can see the comment that D also highlighted here is somebody saying, well, isn't the instigator of the, of the riots Tommy Robinson a Zionist? They are right to blame Zionism, the, uh, the cancer of, the, of our world. Uh, first of all, okay, Tommy Robinson is a Zionist, um, one reason why I like him. Um, but uh, he's not an instigator of the riots. He did, he managed protests. And he was the most insistent on keeping them peaceful and lawful so that they don't turn into riots. In fact, Tommy Rob, the reason why you have less riots in the UK is because Tommy Robinson is providing people with an outlet to be able to express themselves through protests. So you should be thanking Tommy Robinson for 
having less riots in the UK because you know, other people are not providing a way for people to express themselves. Tommy Robinson's position has always been against riots, always been against taking the law into your own hand, attacking Muslims, attacking mosques. He has always been against that position. So to frame him as somebody who is irresponsible for the riots is absolutely dishonest and I don't even know. But also, by the way, even if he was responsible for riots, which he isn't, um, it's not part of a Zionist plan. You know, it's funny how so many people say that when um, it's like, for example, if a Jew go robs a bank, am I going to say that there's a Jewish plan to rob banks? Obviously, that is insane. Can you link this? Like, let's say, for example, Tommy Robinson was actually somebody that was trying to cause more riots in the UK, and he was also a Zionist. You could still not say that Zionism is responsible unless you could provide a link between his Zionism and a general plan of Zionism with the action that this specific one Zionist is doing. For example, we have an example here. This person, there was actually a Pakistani man, as they highlighted here, that was actually responsible, right? A Pakistani man for uh, causing the riots in the UK, spreading on purpose spreading misinformation on social media and being responsible partly for the riots in the UK. You know, has been that, investigated. that yeah. case against him was actually dropped. Okay. Okay. So that's, thank you for the clarification. Hypo let's, let's say that it wasn't hypothetically. Let's say that a Pakistani man was responsible for spreading misinformation that led to, that's good sir, that you clarified that or else I wouldn't be wouldn't have that information right so based on the news i've seen um based on the news i've seen that i didn't see the updates he was charged by pakistani police for spreading misinformation in the uk that led to some of the riots and now that has been dropped but it but even if it didn't drop just like we did the hypothetical with tommy that say like let's say he was responsible for the riots uh, even if tommy was responsible that wouldn't make zionism responsible even if this man was responsible for some of the misinformation um, and some of the riots, we wouldn't be come here and say there's a Pakistani plan. Imagine how much, how insane that would sound. Because there was a Pakistani man that spread the misinformation in the UK to cause riots, it, and from Pakistan, is there a Pakistani plan to increase riots in the United Kingdoms? Obviously, that would be an insane claim to make. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, we say this all the time, like just because we can identify that X, Y or Z crime was committed by a Muslim or something, that doesn't mean that that crime was committed in furtherance of Islam. It, it's 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 so obvious. It's obvious. <laughs> so I, mean, I love how they're like, we sure. know one guy, we got one guy, <laughs> he supports Israel, therefore... Israel is fomenting purposeful destruction and disharmony within the UK because they got no other plan. And this is so rich coming from people who say like, oh, you cannot say there is an Islamic plan to do terrorism because you have found all these terrorists who happen to be Muslim. Are like, you, okay, then what the hell? You're doing the same thing then. Like you're saying the same thing. And you're not even doing it right because when we actually find terrorists that are Muslim, they're actually Muslims who are responsible for terrorists. The Zionist that you found as an example who's res who's responsible, who you say is responsible, is actually not even responsible for the riots. So you have one example, and your example is it's not even a good example. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean. <sighs> I don't know if anything more needs to be said. Um, no, no, I think that was it. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I just saw that we got a super chat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, sent a super chat saying, I don't like the juice to be <laughs> to be honest. Not too much sugar. Wait, there's a meme for that. Oh, okay, God. did we not cover a story very early on in 
my time at Atheist Republic, where some Maulana, like in Bangladesh or something, somewhere in South Asia, literally had a testimony against Jews, like because of the Jews. I think that was a real thing. I, I think that was a real thing. <laughs> so funny this has been a really really old <laughs> classic meme yes i'm ever saying classic yeah love this one <laughs> i like how i like how the juice is so angry it's like well fuck you too <laughs> Uh, this one almost makes me laugh. I love this one. Okay. <laughs> Stop the hate on juice, please. All right, guys. Uh, this unmitigated hate. Actually, wait a minute. What am I saying? I'm actually you a hate juice. juice. I'm a juice hater my, as well, actually. It's what true. am I even saying? It's yes, true. Guys, too. it's basically just empty calories, liquid sugar uh, that doesn't fill you up. I'm actually, actually, that is, <laughs> I'm actually, uh, um, yeah, I, 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 I didn't, I have to take that. You back. needed to catch. All right, guys, before you play yeah, <laughs> into the juice propaganda <laughs> lobby. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, like, look at this. John is saying, "What about vitamin C, Armin?" I don't know, John. Maybe you could bite into an orange instead of removing all that fiber and all that energy that your digestive system has to go through to be able to take that vitamin C. Have you tried eating an actual fruit instead of just liquidizing it and just shoving it inside your body? How about that? How about that? It's right. true. It's true. <laughs> um, before we end, I want to say Angel LR, please email me. Okay. I wish you the best on, on your, on your treatment. And also I would like to send you like a card or a little supportive care package. So Angel, please email me. Yes. Um, please, please. Yeah. Any anything else you have to say, Orman, before we wrap up? No, Amir was actually surprised by my aggressiveness when it comes to health issues. This is oh, I am very passionate that's the about tip of the iceberg, yeah. Amir. <laughs> I have you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> right. and also john said you got a point okay fine so see i convinced somebody i give this is my my anti-juice hatred has been justified you two please understand that i'm saying juice and also i have i have directed somebody towards the light and one person at least mm. is now going to have a healthier mm. life because mm. of my advocacy here see you're welcome Anyways, guys, please make sure you're, you like the Atheist Republic, not just because of the health tips that we give you, but also because of our amazing coverage of important issues around the world. Um, there must be some issues mentally with me, and mm. I have to go reevaluate my life. Okay, so make sure you I go love, ahead I love and, and do all Do you know who makes the most amazing, gorgeous, and other adjectives that I can't use here on YouTube? Blasphemous art ever? We do. And for some reason, we are giving it away for free. Download them now using the link in the description before we change our mind.